all right hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you please invite your friends and share the link with whoever you can uh, today we are going to answer two people both of them one claim to be a Jew and the other one claim to be Christian however both of them they are Muslims uh, the first one he called himself Sharon and you need always to learn that when Muslims they hide their names it's simply as a part of the plan to deceive you so the first person his name as we see in the screen Sharon <coughs> and he said God says how can you compare God with man I want to see what this guy is talking about you know when somebody says God says how you can compare can you quote for us the verse so we can see how much uh, knowledge you have always always you notice that when somebody he throws something at you and he don't want to mention where he cut that from there is something always fishy and then look what he said he says the Jews consider that no man can be God and how could Jesus be God there's no Jews consider that and that's a lie for you and this is a proof that you are not a Jew so why you call yourself Sharon because when you say the Jews that's mean it's not you you are not a Jew secondly if we go right now in the book of Genesis we will see that the Jews get you busted if we go in the book of Genesis chapter 1 chapter 1 let us go to chapter 1 open the book and everybody will see in a second that you are a fool a fool who will speak claiming knowledge it says in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the earth so first of all in, in Genesis we see right away that God is a spirit actually if we go to John uh, or you know, different verses in the Bible like John chapter 4 I think it says it clearly that God is a spirit um, let me see all right So here we notice in John 4 24 that God is a spirit and let us zoom a little bit in this page so we can show the whole verse in a better way all right so God is a spirit and this is how you worship him you worship him as a spirit of truth but if we go to Genesis chapter 1 we notice that the verse is saying that in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth and then God created the earth and the heaven and his the Spirit of God so we have now already two so what is the third did God appear to to uh, to uh, Abraham as a man absolutely yes did God say I created man in my image absolutely yes here you will see uh, the ignorance of those who claim that they know the Bible God said in chapter 1 let us make man in our image so where you get this from that God said don't compare if he himself is saying that man is in the image of God actually the man is made in the image of God where we get this from it's in our front of you so you know it's very easy to know that somebody he claiming to be a Jew but he is not secondly we will notice that Muhammad himself he stole that phrase and he put it in his teaching This is 
your prophet or your God Muhammad saying the following Abu Huraira the father of the cats said not me this is the father of the cat saying that I have no cats I have no kids said that your prophet said Allah created Adam and grant him peace and look at the translation here how funny it is it's gone it says Allah created Adam in his image I'm looking in English where it says that nowhere what happened <laughs> normal Islamic deception let us go a little bit down read with me carefully Allah created Adam in his image this is exactly what it says in the Bible if we ask Muhammad where he gets from <clears throat> Muhammad and his followers they will be in chaos because they cannot really find us the source of this except from the Bible we just show it to you it is God who said let us create a man in our image it's not the God of Islam right let us clean this it is not the God of Islam who said that it is the God of the Christians the God of the Jews so why Muhammad is using the exact same words the Muslim they try to explain it to you they say oh no no he is saying that God he created Adam in the image of Adam the way Adam he is <laughs> that would be funny <laughs> that would be funny so God make Adam in his image and this is exactly what the hadith is saying in different hadith Muhammad even make it more clear and by the way here Muhammad he add things which is fantasy like Adam is 60 cubit tall 30 meters this is why if you search for the grave of Adam the Muslims they make a false graves for Adam and uh, you know they make it very long but there's nobody inside the grave same there's the, the grave of Noah all the kids of Adam they were very tall and as you see they are 30 meters tall it's almost uh, you know uh, six store six uh, floor buildings so here you see Muhammad trying to as usual to fabricate knowledge and he is adding things and I will not be surprised by the way that Muhammad he learned such a knowledge which is a false knowledge uh, or let us say information about the size of Adam maybe from the Jews because Muhammad he copied a lot of things from the Jews and the Jews they have many books it's not have nothing to do uh, with prophets neither gods it's written by many people the same as Muhammad he come with the punishment of the grave he learned from the Jews a Jewish woman she said there's a grave punishment and Muhammad he heard that and since then Muhammad never stopped using that teaching that there is you know punishment of the grave which means after you die you will be punished now if you go Muhammad you will see Muhammad he gave us more details about how Allah looked like Muhammad he told the Muslims that there is a false Messiah will come false Messiah will come and this false Messiah he will claim to be God okay but why Muhammad is comparing between the look of the false Messiah and the look of Allah if this person is a false Messiah Muhammad should compare between the real Messiah and the look of the false messiah correct guys so if we have a problem here somebody trying to clone jesus to say i am jesus so why are you comparing him to the look of allah if allah is not a man anyway by the way if there is any muslim would like to call me please let me know and i will be happy to take your call because i see many brave of you in text especially in the comment section but we don't hear you call on us and show us how good you are my Skype right now is open if you are a Muhammadan who worship Muhammad and his slave Allah please feel free and give us a call
and for sure we want to hear you to give us answers not to call names if you call names we will hang up on you it's up to you as you see here with me the Prophet said and who said that the Prophet and who is the Prophet Muhammad and who is Muhammad who whatever Muhammad he say the Muslims accept you see the Muslim don't reject Jesus because it does not make sense that Jesus is God just because Muhammad he said so have you ever heard of a Muslim making fun of Mary being a virgin never why you don't make fun of that does that make sense no it doesn't it doesn't because why 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 only Jesus have a mother but you don't have a father why only Jesus is born but not from born remember the Muslims by the way the Quran is because the Quran is a stupid book the Quran compare between Jesus and Adam and say that uh, Isa which we don't know even where Muhammad he got this name from <laughs> you know we have no idea where he got the name from but Muhammad he said uh, claiming that his God told him okay what your God told you Muhammad in chapter 3 verse number 59 it says the following Verily, the likeness of Isa between two brackets, Jesus, before Allah, is the likeness of Adam. He created him from dust, and then he said to him, Be, and he was. And here you notice right away how low the IQ of the author of the Quran, whoever he is. Because neither Isa, neither Adam was created by saying, Be, and he was according to Islam. And here you notice how stupid this cult is. And I challenge the Muslim to show me which verse in the Quran saying that Allah created Adam by saying B. Where is that? Do we have any Muhammadan? Where is the verse in the Quran where it says Allah he said B to Adam and he was? That is a very stupid statement. And there is no way God is God and he is stupid in the same time foolishness is a sign of a person who is a fool not God all right nowhere in the Quran it says that uh, Allah he created Adam by saying be the fact the Quran says it clearly that Allah created Adam by mixing dust and water and make it mud and then he fashioned it as a shape of a human like a statues and then after that he breathed into it and then after that even after that it took time for Adam to be created to the point Adam he said to Allah before he finishes the creation Allah finish me before the sunset and here you notice that the Quran cannot be the book of God <clears throat> remember the Quran itself said that if this book is not from Allah, <coughs> excuse me, my voice, I had an ear infection. Uh, if if this book not from Allah, you will find a lot of contradictions. Chapter four, verse number eighty-two. The Quran says that not me if this book is not from Allah you will find a contradiction okay Muslims show me the verse in the Quran it says Allah he said to Adam be and he was do we have any Muslim hero from those who grow beard from those who uh, go in TV hmm? Hmm. anybody which verse in the Quran lead us to see where Allah he said be Adam and Adam was big mouth long tongue and a tail that will not make you a scholar that will make you a joker so they throw accusation at Christianity 
and they supposedly try to fabricate answers and the answers get them busted the answer I don't it's enough to prove that Allah is a false God remember the one is debating me now is Allah himself not a Muhammadan Allah himself saying well you know what uh, the reason why Jesus is not God is the following because he was created the same as Adam hmm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> How? Where? Any Muhammadan can tell us how Muhammad he got this? Hello? Hello? Islam is dead before even a start debating about Islam. That's stupid. If we go in the Quran, as long as there is no Muhammad in there to call us, as usual. If we go in the Quran, we will find the following. This website is really horrible. All of this is searching for the verse. Hmm. Maybe the website have a problem. Chapter 23, verse number 12. Chapter 32, verse number 7. Chapter 37, verse number 11. Chapter 38, verse number 71. Chapter 38, verse number 76, 78, 77. I mean, what's wrong with this God? Chapter 55, verse... Uh, uh, forget about this one. Uh, 38, 76, etc. So, what, what is the creation of Adam? From mud. And how he created him. Did he say being? Any Muslim? Did he say be? Do we have any Muslim in the bushes? Nowhere it says he. You know, I want a Muslim to get me busted. Any Muslim can show us. Not a single Muslim. You know, if I say any smart Muslim, Muslim get offended. If I say stupid, they get offended. Doesn't matter what you say, they get offended. Any smart Muslim. <clears throat> Anyone have an idea? So, as you see, the Quran is a very silly, stupid book. Let us go to the Quran in the chapter of Al Hajjar. And see how Allah created Adam. <clears throat> Read carefully with me. Oh. This website is ready. The problem, this website, it's good and bad, but it's okay. In chapter 15, verse number 29, chapter 30, 38, verse number 72. What it says, let us read. And Allah said, Remember when the Lord, and by the way, uh, funny, what remember, like they were there anyway. And remember when the Lord said to the angels, I'm going to create a man from what? From a clay. Mm, very soft, burned clay. And then, so when I have fashioned him completely, and then 
I breathe into him. <laughs> what is B? So look what happened. Allah, he made first mud. And to make mud, you need dust, you need water. And we mix them together. Second stage, let us highlight them. First, we made clay. Number two, we fashioned him. We make a look of a man. Number three, we breathe into him. So why the Quran saying in the other verse, Allah, he said to Adam, be and he was. Who is the stupid here? Any Muslim? <clears throat> Don't you notice that this is really stupid? Okay, somebody claiming to be a Muslim. Let us see if he will, if he is. Where he said be? Anyone, anyone see it? I did not notice it. I don't see that. So this is a very clear contradiction. Uh, somebody asked me to add a Muslim to chat with him, to call him, and look what he said to me, Allahu Akbar. That statement alone, proven to us, is not to be false. Because how you say you cannot compare God to man, and then you say Allah is Akbar. Akbar in Arabic means a greater, according to you. According to me, mean bigger. Either way, the second you say greater, bigger, you are comparing him to something. Greater than who? Than mankind? You just compare God to mankind. Bigger than who? A camel? You just compare God to a camel. So look how silly they are. Allahu Akbar. You made me farted now. And let me open the window. This is your answer for me? So you ask them to add me, you want to talk to me, to say to me, Allahu Akbar? We laugh at Allahu Akbar. This is the best you can do? Allahu Akbar. Okay. What does that mean? Akbar is, a, is a, about size. Same time, Akbar is the name of the sun god. And we can prove it in a two second. Call me. Let me, let me do it to you in the right way. Show me. Answer me. Silence me. Do you want to show you, even from the Quran, that Akbar is the sun god? From the Quran. Hmm? Look at them. I feel sorry for you. Change your diaper, please. You are doing it even before you start talking to me. Let me block you as long as you will not call. We thought it's a dump, it turned to be, we thought, we no, 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 in the Middle East they say, we thought it's a fart, it turned to be a dump. I just texted him, why you are sending me his, uh, again? Anyway. So as you see, Islam by itself is a, f f a funny, silly, stupid cult. And cannot stand for its own teaching. One one of the funny things about false uh, cult uh, maker creator, all of them they share one thing. They speak too much. They do poo poo. They don't talk, give wisdom. And all of them they are after sex. And Muhammad he share all of those. Muhammad the more he talk, the more he do poo poo. Not he give wisdom. The more he teach, the more he destroy his own words. And all of them after having sex with women who they are following them. All cult leaders. I forgot actually, there's a Muslim, he made a comment in Facebook, so I wanted to share it with you. I took a snapshot of it. Uh, 
Let us see where is this Abdul. This is the the first Ab Abdul. And here there is the second Abdul. Look what this Abdul he said to us. This Abdul, he called himself a Christian monk, but he's Abdul. In Islam, God cannot be killed or crucified. Only in Christianity, God defeated by his creature. First of all, this is very, you know, I I, I, really, I don't know what to say. Low IQ, silly, stupid. Well, if 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 this is how you prove that Jesus is not God, you just to prove that Jesus is God. I will use your logic. In Islam, God cannot be killed. Well, was Jesus killed in Islam? They could not kill him. <laughs> and where is he now? In heaven. How old is he? Thousand of years. So look at the stupid logic. Your stupid logic itself is against your logic. Because if Jesus is just a man, should be dead, like everybody. If Jesus is just a man, should not be in heaven now. Why? Why he is the only man between two bracket, yet he is in heaven. Why he is the only man in Islam? Who have no father, but he is born between two bracket according to Islam. Why he is the only man who commit no sin according to Islam. Why he is the only one your God called him holy. Why he is the only person and man who is a word of God, spirit of God, and man of God, three in one. Why he is the only one in Islam can resurrect people from death. Why he is the only one in Islam can make the blind see. Why he is the only one in Islam can tell you what you heard in your house is. Why he is the only one in Islam he will come back and he will make victory against the devil. This is all is Jesus and he is just a prophet. <laughs> so look how stupid their argument. If this argument true, that in Islam God cannot be killed, that means Jesus cannot be killed, and this is why he must be God in Islam. Do you see why we laugh at you? Very low IQ. <clears throat> and not only that, remember Muhammad himself, he died by poison, a Jewish woman, she put for him some poison and some they say some pee we are not sure about that in his drink and Muhammad died because of poison question why Muhammad is the favorite man for man from between mankind to Allah but yet Muhammad died by poison and you know poison death is really not a good thing But Jesus was saved. Any Mohammedan have a comment? <clears throat> if we continue in the comment of this Abdul, who called himself a Christian, deception again, says, also, the Bible is only book that teaches Rabin blood brother raped his sister Tamar incest. You see, the lies of Muslims is, be, is beyond imagination. It's beyond imagination. Because there it's reporting a story, not God approving your liar. If the Bible says there's a guy, his name is a Christian prince, and he... Uh, uh, he did, uh, uh, let us say, uh, sell drugs. Does that mean God, he said to Christian prince, sell drugs? I mean, you are very silly. You are very silly and stupid. However, Islam is the only religion approved having sex with your children. Let us see, we have Abdul. We have a fish. This fish always a crowd. Hello? Yes, Hello? Abdul. Yes, Abdul, how Can are you? you? 
Oh, oh, oh. Give me a second, brother. Assalamu alaikum, first of all. Wa alaikum, assalam. Why you are saying to me, assalamu alaikum? Huh? Why you no, are saying? Because I wish peace to you, man. I wish peace to you. Inshallah, you come to the dawah. But you are not allowed to say peace to the Christians. Yeah. Well, well, it says um, that Prophet Muhammad was a mercy to all mankind. So what? No, this, this is not true. Your prophet. Hold, 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 hold on. Hold, 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 hold on. Your prophet said, "Don't greet the Christians with peace." While you are lying. Oh my God! So don't so say, "Oh my God," when you speak to me. Say, "Oh my Allah." Oh my Allah. Oh my Allah. Uh -huh. they, they. So why you are lying to me? Isn't it your prophet? He says that don't greet Christians with the peace. No, no. It says that uh, mercy is synonymous to uh, peace, man. Okay. So what if I show you? What you will do? Uh, let, let me open this uh, YouTube thing, man. Mm. <clears throat> And I don't see why you were. Uh, I was watching. Yeah, yeah. Was, uh, okay. On uh, yeah. Read the read the hadith with me. Huh? Wait, wait. It's in front of you. What, what do you want? Which one do you want? One, There's many of them. Hmm. Yes. And by the way, just yesterday I have four Muslims left Islam. Do you want to call them to tell them you are liars? The whole family, it's, the father yes, and the wife and his two daughters. Four stop people. Lying, stop lying. Paid four people. Like, what, what, four what, what, what people. Cry. Okay, now read, 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 Abdul, read. Why you are, why you are greeting me? You are not a Muslim. You are a false Muslim. You are not following the Prophet teaching. Shame on you. Muslim is uh, someone who practices Islam. And Which, practice exactly, Islam exactly. So your prophet said, your prophet said, don't initiate, I, don't I, initiate I, salam. So yeah. shut up. Your prophet said, don't initiate salam. So why you said to me, assalamu alaikum? Well, let me, let me read it. Okay. Uh, yeah, says, read it. It's open. Abu Abu Huraira, I like it when you say Abu Abu what Abu Huraira. This guy is coming from the Congo. What Abu Huraira? Abu Huraira. Okay. What about Abu Huraira? Abu Huraira. Abu Huraira. The father of the cat. Same thing. Abu Abu Huraira. Okay. Narrated that the messenger of Allah. Do not initiate the saluting of Jews and Christians when you meet them. Mm. And if if you meet any of them on the road first. Mm. What do you think about such a filthy prophet who is saying to you, if you see us in the street, don't initiate salam to us, and not only that, you have to harm us and you have to force us to walk wait, in the sewage. Wait, 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 wait. Oh no, this is not Sahih. This is a Daif. What we will do now. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I'm going to feed we it for can you. Look into it. So if this is Daif, is not accepted by you? I, as I know that Daif is accepted too. So what we will do now? What does Daif mean? Let me ask you this. What is, what is Daif? Daif, it means someone like you, like your prophet, weak. So so if it's weak and it goes against the Quran. Well, it goes against no. the Quran. The Quran says kill the Christians and the Jews and force them to pay your money. And humiliate them. Where well, it's against the Quran, chapter nine, verse twenty-nine. Okay, you know what? I'm going to forgive you. You do not know, as the rest of the Muslims. No, no, no. That's that's doing warfare. What? 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 Warfare. Wait, wait, wait. All of Islam is about warfare. Muhammad he says, "I've been I've been commanded to fight all mankind until they say there's no God but Allah, and they pay me the money, and then." If they pay me the money, if they are Christians, I will not kill them. What welfare? Well, we Muslims also pay the money. It's called zakat. He, he will kill you too if you don't pay it. I agree. Muhammad is a criminal. Even if you don't pay zakat, Muhammad will kill you. Do you want to show you the reference? No. Show me. Okay. So if I show you what you will do. You got to show me first, man. 
Okay, if I show you, are you willing to send for us? Muhammad was a fool. Muhammad was a fool. Stop, stop. So why you are saying to me, show me? Each time I show you, you do nothing after that. So what do you mean, show me? No, Either can, show me can, to prove something to you, huh? Which which mean if, if it's true, if it's true, you will leave Islam. Or what you keep saying to me, show me? I show you, and then you do nothing, and you say, oh, and then you say to me, brother, I have to go back and check it out, and I will be back to you, and you never come back to me. Do you see it? They have to pay the zakat. You see it, and then their blood. Is it protected? Do you see the hadith in front of your eyes? Mr. Farah said, I have been commanded by Allah to fight the people who testify that there is no God but like Allah. And what is Mr. Farah? I prefer Salah to pay Zakat. If they do so, they will have protection of their blood and property of their except with just by Islam. And mm. yes, go ahead. Mm. Sit down, brother. Too bad this hadith does not have Abu Huraira. So do you see it says if you perform salat and pay zakat Then then their blood is protected from me. So your prophet want to kill you too You have to pay him money You have to do the prayer. So, you have to say shahada if you don't do any of those He will cut your neck No, he, he won't do violence, but he says he will protect you protect you from who from him it says here, I've been commanded to kill all mankind. Hello, Abdul, listen. I've been commanded to fight, in word Arabic, which means to kill. Fight to kill until they say, until what? Until you do the following. You say Shahada and you worship Muhammad. You say here, you have to associate the name of Allah with the name of a man. His name is Muhammad. You Muslims are Mushrikeen. You are a big time Mushrikeen. You say what Mushrikeen? Mushrikeen associating the name of a man with the name of God. That's Islam, that is Shahada. So you have to associate the name of a man like Muhammad who married six years old kid And then no, you have to pray as he taught you to pray as he ordered you and you have to pay him money zakat Otherwise, then your blood will not be protected. So the only way to be protected is to say shahada and do as he say and pay him the zakat and then your blood is protected Muhammad is a gang leader. He's a thief now when uh, muhammad says there's no compulsion religion what does that that's mean? false this verse is not about not to force muslims to 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 stay muslims this is about the jews muhammad he heard that the jews are teaching their kids not to convert to islam so he said to them you cannot force them not to convert to islam that's not about muhammad he said that the one who changed his religion kill him no no because when it no says, no uh, no listen 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 why you don't let an adult talk to me i mean you are what I, I, I don't know you are 21 years old what is your dad man what is your shake where's your shake okay okay i will i will try to uh, bring some uh elders to you man mm -hmm. okay is it your prophet brother. saying that the one who changed his religion kill him no, he doesn't. He doesn't. Really? It says, it says in the. Uh -huh. I saw you saying something on screen, yeah, and I want to refute that, but you took it away because you were afraid I was going to refute it. Ah, it. no, because this is the wrong hadith. Here we go. This is the hate I want. Read it. Are you getting excited now? Here we go. Read it. The prophet this said, the one who changed his religion, kill him. Ibn Abbas and I did the most photos of the old saints religion. I hear past days, and later, listen now. So, how you how the Quran says, you know, you cannot force somebody into religion, and here it says, kill him. And everybody knows, all Muslims agree if somebody leave Islam, Abu Bakr, you have a big war to kill all those who left Islam. Why well, you are lying to yourself? What? Uh, what happened? Who ne uh, whenever? Uh, 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 by the way, if you like Abu Huraira, I can get you Abu Huraira in the hadith too. The father of the cats. You know what Huraira means? The father of the cats. I mean, what kind of a man? His name is the father of the cats. Why? He was having sex with the cat? Why do they call him father of the cats? Now, brother, man, it says uh, whoever changes religion, kill me. It's not like 
Mm. But I change my religion and then I become atheist. Like change religion and go against Islam. Yeah. So what the punishment? Kill him. No, but go against with a sword, man. But how how you kill a, how you kill somebody in Islam? You you throw at him a popcorn. It says kill him. Whoever changes religion, kill him. What do you do exactly? You throw popcorn at him. What? No, but what? What, what are you talking? It's, if it's warfare, you're gonna go with swords. What? What? If they peace with what? Doing warfare, you're gonna go with swords. Yeah, kill him with a, I don't know, arrow or sword. Just... I'm done with kids. Adult. Who is next? Then here we see this Abdul. He's saying. That in the Bible it says it says that you you know you like you teach a, a, a father and had sex with his own blood daughter, and suppose this is about Lot. You see again here the dishonesty of Muslims. The story they report what the daughters did, not what God said to them to do, and there's a huge difference. Liars. But I can show you from your books that you as a Muslim you can have sex with your daughter as long as she is a daughter from adultery. Who want to take a challenge? Your God in the Quran, in the yellow pages of Islam, and in the interpretation says it clearly, and all the Muslims agree that if a man he's a Muslim, he have a daughter from a girlfriend, which means she is not a wife, he can have sex with the girlfriend and his daughter from that girlfriend in the same time. That's in your book, my friend, not in my book. Show me where in my book it says you can have sex with your daughter. You're a liar, big fat liar. When the Bible reports stories, this is reporting what people do. People do crime, people commit sin, people do good, people do bad. This is the Bible reporting what people do. Why well, you are being a liar? But when we see Islamic religion teach that a man, he can have sex with his daughter, you tell me how that can happen. And you know what? I don't like to say something without showing proofs and reference. Let us get it out. <clears throat> Let us see. All right. <laughs> All right. <coughs> this is listen carefully. By the way, I can say you show what you from Qurtubi from many places. This is Ahkam al Quran li Ibn al Arabi. The chapter of Al Furqan 25, it says, وهو الذي خلق من الماء بشرا فجعله نسبا وصهرا وكان ربك قديرا. Okay, what does that mean? It is He who created you from water and made you a man, and He made your lineage from marriage. Your lineage, lineage is only for marriage. Interpretation. This is your highest scholar, Ibn al-Arabi. وَقَدْرُوِيَ عَنْ مَالِكْ Imam Malik. By the way, the Islamic Sunni, they are four sect. All of them agree in this. And Malik is one of them. It says the following. And he agree with that. But read with me carefully here, it says. Uh, let us uh, zoom in so we can show the whole you know what let me uh, let me try I will try after I translate myself I would try to use Google translation uh, if there is no lineage by marriage so there is no uh, you know 
there is no marriage which means it okay you don't deserve to have lineage unless you are from a marriage legal marriage all right and then here he says fella you harm zina bibin to um wala bi ummi bint so it's not forbidden to do commit adultery with the daughter of her mother and the mother of that daughter which is your daughter وَمَا يُحَرَّمُ مِنَ الْحَلَالِ لَا يُحَرَّمُ مِنَ الْحَرَامِ And what is forbidden from halal, halal which means kosher, lawful, it's not forbidden from what is coming from unlawful. So it's forbidden for you to have sex with your daughter if she is from marriage. But if she is not from marriage, then you cannot do that. If we go to Al-Qurtubi, Fast way to do it. <clears throat> uh, even Ibn Kathir, Al Bidaya wa Nihaya. Al Bidaya fi Sharhin Idaya, sorry. Let us see here. Actually, we can go right away there in the same place. In the same place here. Let us go to Tafsir. No, no, give me a second. <clears throat> you see here, we are not the same as Muslim. They say and they make claims and the claims are false. Muslim, they can say whatever they want. We get them busted easy. Very easy. Extremely easy. All right. If we go to chapter... Uh, Al Furqan uh, fifty four. Okay, all right, and then we go to the interpretation of the verse. I will put it for you on the screen. Just give me a second, please. We go to Arabic. <clears throat> so as you see it is in Islam you can have sex with your daughter as long she, as long she is a daughter from adultery this is not in Christianity and I challenge you where to find me one verse in the Bible says God said you can have sex with your daughter shame on you to lie but it's okay you are a Muslim so it's not shame on you to lie you are just practicing your right as a believer of Allah All right, this is Tafsir al Quran, Tafsir al Qurtubi. I will put it in the screen. And this is the official government of the most corrupt descendant from the Prophet, as he claimed, the King of Jordan. This is official government website of the King of Jordan. Chapter 25, verse number 54, it says. That we created you from man, etc. And look here careful, it says exactly what Ibn Arabi says. And if they do not do the right thing, they do not do the right thing. They do not do the right thing. They do not do the right thing. And what is forbidden from halal, is not forbidden from haram. Translation. Let us use Prophet Google, peace upon him. All right. Uh, so Allah, He created the human being from water between male and female. And the translation is not really good. And then He made lineage from that, from that, etc. And it is forbidden for a man to have sex with his daughter. Chapter four, verse number twenty-three. But if it's not from marriage, the daughter of adultery, because it's the daughter of adultery, so she is not forbidden for him. And this is according to the most accurate belief in Islam, according to the Sharia law. 
it is not haram to do adultery with the daughter of the mother and the mother because it is haram only what is coming from halal we oh, sorry uh, it is uh, because it's not lawful so if you do something not lawful and then a fruit of the unlawful happens still you can do unlawful more to the unlawful because it was unlawful this is what he's saying and this is google translate in front of you it is not haram oh you don't see the screen sorry guys hold on don't scream that's what take it easy take it easy hold on this is jami'ul ahkam al-quran al-qurtubi as you see al qurtubi and this is the interpretation it is not haram in islam this is the, this is the stupid translation of google by the way but it's okay it is not haram to do adultery with the daughter of the mother and her daughter why because you know what is haram it's not forbidden for you it's forbidden for you only if it is from halal, which means you cannot have sex with your daughter if she is a family marriage. This daughter is not family marriage, so it's not forbidden for you. So it is not haram to do adultery with the daughter, your daughter from your blood. We are not talking about the daughter of a girlfriend. We are talking about your daughter. And this is according to the most accurate opinion to the scholars of Islam. The most what? The most accurate opinion. What do you say? Somebody is saying, can you pronounce the letter the? There's a there is a za, there's a za and the. I don't know which one you want. There's Zane and the. The that is like a a fly, you know, flying next to your ear. The the. So like your your tongue have to vibrate, and the letter Ain, it's very hard for you to say it anyway because it's not your language. So you need to practice a lot. Anyway, do you see it, guys? So the Muslim Abdul, he accused me or accused us that we as a Christian, our book teaches us to have sex with our daughter. The fact, this is your book. My book is reporting what daughters did with their father, not what God said to them to do, you liar. Here we have your scholars, and this is the most accurate opinion, that you can have sex with your own daughter. Any Muslim? Reveal Haq want to call me? His name is Ahmed123. Okay. Well, how you can find such a name, Ahmed123, in Skype? You will find millions. Imagine how many Ahmed123. They, because they cannot count more than three. You have to give me his real ID. In Skype, there is a place where it shows your real ID. Like here. See? All of those are Ahmed. But all of them, they have an ID. So which one is yours? There's millions of them. Go to your Skype and see what is the ID you have. No, he did not try to call me because there is no way. As I say, I have no calls. And if somebody call me, all of you, you will hear it. Maybe it's calling wrong name. Like, uh, maybe change your name, make it like uh, uh, Ahmed riding a camel. That will be maybe a unique name a little bit. 
So do we have any Muslim explain to us why and what kind of religion says you can have sex with your daughter? Hmm? So look what they do. They accuse us of things. In fact, they are the one who believe in it. The one I blocked, the one who said Allahu Akbar. Is that the same one? Is that the same person? Well, we gave him a chance to talk to us. He said to me, Allahu Akbar. That's the best he can do. You see, look at the comment of the Muslims. Muslims destroy me. They, I lost. I Okay, make me lose. Here we go. I'm here. You see, if you go on all the Muslims who claim to be scholars, you will not find one of them there to take live calls. I will be the first one to call. I tried to call the Dean Shomei time. It's in YouTube. They don't even let me go through. Because you are scared, you are terrified. Let the Dean Show call me. That will come. Dean Show? This is this is a this is a, this is a monkey show. The guy in the TV, he have a cell phone. Nobody hear the, the caller. You cannot hear who is calling. And obviously, there's no caller. They have a questions, they are written prepared for them. Hello, yes, okay, brother. Uh huh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is the caller? All what we heard is uh huh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh huh, they don't dare to have to take a live caller, they don't dare. Well, nice to meet you, Mr. Aha. So what's his name? This is brother Aha and his sister Ahi. They are asking question about can they eat ice cream together? What is that? What about Zachar Naik? He make a lifeline to call him. I will call him. Do it there. Here we go. We are we are so brave to the point we don't we challenge all of you. All of you, with your goats, with your camels, with your oil, with your shish kebab, with your hummus, <clears throat> still you can do nothing. Where are you? And when we have a Muslim, do you, do you want me to remind you what happened to the last sheikh he called me? Do you want me to remind you? Hold on, hold on. I want to remind you. So I can take a break too and can I can make some coffee or some tea, sorry. <clears throat> My voice is tired, so I apologize. That's why yesterday I did not really go. I was talking for this fam to this family too, who left Islam for for, for a good time. Uh, let us see what happened to the last shake he debated with me. What happened? You remember? Maybe your memory is not good. We can refresh your memory. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. This is Sheikh Abdul Wadud. May Allah bless his soul if he went to heaven already. And this is what happened to him. Let us see in a second. Hold on. Maybe that will encourage some Muslims to call. And us. to worship only one Allah. Mm -hmm. What are you doing, my friend? I'm good. How are you, man? I'm all right. I'm very good. So I've been told by uh, one of your students you want to call me and explain to me something about the Quran, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, you want to explain it. All right, that's wonderful. So uh, what about the Prophet Muhammad? He uh, recited that the three daughters of Allah, it is a must to ask them to, for intercession, and he bowed down to them. What do you say about that? He never bowed down to them. What he did was... Mm -hmm. That uh, at the time of, uh, you know, before the Prophet of Muhammad, peace be upon him, mm. 
the people what they are doing they are worshiping that in all of them so messenger muhammad is the attorney was sent to tell them to not worship that in all okay and to worship only one allah mm -hmm. but this is not what islamic source says my friend the quran says in chapter 22 verse number 52 that shaitan he throw in the mouth of Muhammad satanic verses and then uh, all the reference says that Muhammad the prophet of Islam when he was reciting the chapter of An-Najm he said that those are Manat and Allah al uzza the three daughters of Allah their intercession is a must and he bow down and all the pagan bow down behind him and even the pagan they said we never saw a prophet uh, 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 like uh, uh, praising our uh, gods as this before so your prophet he bowed down and the pagan they bowed down to the three daughters of Allah and your prophet he mentioned their names do you hear me shake as I, as I told you that at that time if you know the history of Arab mm. those people they were worshipping at that time mm -hmm. Allah was telling them to not worship hmm. yeah I know that but why why Muhammad he bowed down with them you see I have a story written by you Muslims not by me you see okay, bring the bring the history in front of me so I can see it okay do you see the screen do you see my screen just wait a minute my student is working on it okay Okay, this is Asabi Nuzul Do you speak Arabic, Sheikh? Yeah, I do. Yeah, let's see what. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let me highlight for you so you can see. It says okay. here, you know. Uh, so when the messenger he was reciting. He Yes, Mr. Ahmed. How I can help you? Hello, hello, hello. Yes, Ahmed. Well, how I can help you? How can you help me? Man, what's the topic, man? What you want to go for? Hey, the topic you make is claims. The, 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 claims. The, the topic yeah. is that it says in your religion you can have sex with your daughter. Abadan, that's a lie. What do you mean it's a lie? It's a lie. Show me in the Quran where it says that. Mm -hmm. I was just showing the screen. You didn't see it. Oh, show me the Quran. Quran, no tafsir. Quran. What about tafsir? The tafsir we just showed. Oh no, no Quran, Quran, Quran. Well, this is tafsir Quran. This is interpretation of the Quran. No, give me the Quranic verse first of all. Give me the verse, please. Here we go. Chapter twenty-five, verse number fifty-four. Chapter twenty-five. Bismillah. Mm. Okay. Chapter. Uh, Surah twenty-five. What? Fifty-four. Okay, that's the biggest lie. Let me check if it doesn't say that you're a liar. Let us see if I'm lying or not. Let us see. Is that Arabic supposedly? Yeah, is that Arabic supposedly? You are speaking Arabic. I'm speaking English. Well, you don't know Arabic. Why are you are playing? I mean, well, what? Well, uh, the speak, to me, speak to me. Speak to me. Speak, speak to me. Speak to me. Speak to me. Speak to me. Uh, okay, so you, are, you, are Arab. you are an Arab. You are an Arab. You are reading your own letters in your own language. Okay, no problem. Now, read for me in the screen. It says here. As long no, show claim, me it says. As long as long you claim that you speak Arabic, it's in front of you. It says. وَإِذَا لَمْ يَكُنْ no, نَسَبًا شَرَعًا فَلَا صَهْرَ شَرَعًا فَلَا يُحَرَّمُ الزِّنَا بِبِنْتِ أُمْ وَلَا أُمِّ بِنْتِ وَمَا يُحَرَّمُ مِنْ الْحَلَالِ لَا يُحَرَّمُ مِنْ الْحَرَامِ تفسير No, no, one second, let me go on YouTube now, you change it. Okay. Remember, you claim that you speak Arabic, so you have no excuse. No, 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 I didn't claim to speak Arabic, I know how to read it. <laughs> and I know the basics as well. I so. know how to read it, but okay. I don't speak Arabic. Okay, no problem. <laughs> That's a good one. Where does no, no, this is tafsir. I want the Quran. 
I just gave you the Quran. This is the Quran tafsir. Who okay, is the, the one who, who is the one who, who is the one who explained the Quran to the Christians? The Muslims, right? Verses and it is he Abdul. who has created from water. Listen, listen, listen. Made no, listen, listen, listen. Who is Where the is one? Who is the one who explained this verse to you as a Muslim? Oh, can skull. you answer my question? Hmm. It says. Where did you say daughter? It's no there. It says it's it made law for word. you. Give me hold a on, word. Hold on, hold on. Give me where. Where do I see the word daughter in this whole? Okay, where, where we can find the word Jesus in the whole Quran? Ah, uh, Isa. Nowhere. This is Isa. Is not Jesus. So he there's no Jesus. Jesus. I ask you, is there is a word Jesus in the Quran? You said no. You said Isa. So there's no. Yes, there so what you say in the Quran? Why you Muslim? You say where is the word Jesus? What is? But you say Isa. In fact, here, if we want to read the verse to understand it, we have to read what the scholar is saying. Actually, listen. You said to me, I can marry my daughter. Where do I find this? No, the Quran says you cannot marry your daughter if she is your daughter from marriage, and that that have seen in front of you, chapter four, verse number twenty-three. Oh, tafsir. the verse, okay. the no, verse. Tafsir. Okay, if she is a daughter, no, I'm showing you in the front of you on the screen. Stop lying. What do you mean hiding? I know, but I, I want the verse. I want a verse that says I can marry my daughter. No, Where this is not. My, listen, this he is saying to you. This is what the verse mean. This is what the verse mean. Let me ask you. I don't according, care. It's not okay, it's according not to is okay. Let, let, let me, everybody will see in a second. According to Islam, if you have a daughter from illegal sexual relationship, is it considered as daughter for you in Islam? Yes or no? Well, you change subject. Man. I'm not changing. Clear, I'm not changing subject. No, I'm not changing subject. I'm asking you: if you have a daughter out of marriage, is she considered your daughter in Islam? I have a daughter outside of marriage. Is she considered my daughter? This Islam? is not the question. If you have a daughter out of marriage, is she yeah. considered as a daughter for you in Islam? No. Thank you very much. This is why you can have sex with her. <laughs> because no, no, you just said, okay, you just said, you just said, because I ask you, if you have a daughter out of marriage in Islam, is she your daughter? You said no. And this is why you can have sex with her because according to Islam, she is not your daughter. Thank you very much. So you got yourself busted by yourself. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. You're not making sense yet. Repeat, uh, my friend, again. you are the one who said to me a second ago. What makes sense? I ask you, according to Islam, if you have a daughter out of marriage, is she considered your daughter? You said no. Everybody heard you. I said no, yes. Okay. 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 So she is not your daughter. What does that mean? It means she is just a, a foreign woman for you. She is lawful for you. As long as she is not your daughter, according to you, that means she is not your daughter. She is not relative. That's it. Okay, okay. So according to Islam, you okay, can have sex with your daughter. Okay. In the first place, I'm not allowed to have sex outside the marriage. That's haram in the first place. So that's not working out. It's not haram what? It's so what, 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 what? Say again. You said to me, if I have sex with someone outside of marriage, that's mm. not allowed in the first place. So the premise is wrong. Well, this is the not the, uh, first of all, no, it's, it is halal. Show me, show me. Okay. Oh, here Zina, we go. Halal. You're a prophet. He says you can hire a woman for three days, three nights stand. Uh, no, no, muta, muta. So muta, muta is a marriage. Is a muta is a marriage. Muta is abrogated. But this doesn't matter. You said to me in Islam we cannot have sex without marriage. Is that marriage? To hire a woman for three days, three nights, and you Muslim, you put between two bracket translation temporarily marriage. There is no marriage there. Muhammad never said marry. He says any man, any woman, they want to have sex together, live together for three days, three nights. If they like, they can. If they like to en to to enjoy more, they can extend. But then that's mad. That's muta. That's, that's abrogated. What do you want? Okay, well, hold on. Did, did you say it's abrogated? Yes. Okay. Umar, Umar, Why Umar Allah? Al okay. So Allah allow you to do adultery? No, it's been abrogated. I okay, you. I know. I know. What is muta? Is muta is adultery or it's marriage? Muta is muta is temporary marriage. How how marriage can be temporary? What does that mean? It's contract. Then you sign a contract. Contract for, for what? Days, contract for what? For sex, correct? Yeah, yeah. So that's okay. temporary. It's marriage, a contract yeah. for sex. How that can be marriage? How somebody hire so a woman was... and you have to pay her? Is it true that you In have to agree? Is it true that you have yeah. to agree with the women about how much she will get paid? Correct. That's Shia. That's Shia belief. That's My Shia friend, belief. this no. is Sunni. Stop being Shia. This is Sunni. This is Sunni. No, no. You are a Muslim, and you okay. Let me let me ask you. Did your prophet practice muta? Bro, I just answered your question. Like you, you jump, you know how much you jump. I'm not jumping. Here we go. You are the one who said to me, "We are not. A, we are a Muslim. We are not allowed to do as uh, have sexual relationship without marriage." What do you do? What do you do? Okay. You, okay so, uh, your prophet allow you to sleep around, and your prophet used to sleep around, and I actually she used to sleep around, and all of you you sleep around, but you claim that you are the best. Now we go back. No, no, please. You, no, you, no, no. We go back to zero. Now 
you said to me your daughter from a daughter she is not your daughter correct bro can you answer my question you made a claim in the beginning you said that we are allowed to marry our daughters you have not provided i just to provide you just to prove it to me you said to me that your daughter okay. from a daughter is not your daughter that's me well, your daughter let me ask you the question is the daughter is your daughter the question you asked me can you answer it? well if i have a daughter from a daughter yes she's my daughter i mean this is stupid she's to say she's not <laughs> you know oh, ha she, ha she's... Ha having sex having sex with a woman and making that woman deliver a child from you that make it that child your son or your daughter regardless if it's a marriage or not but in islam, islam but in islam hold on you're a prophet saying that if you have a relationship out of islamic sharia law religion that means this this child is lawful for you to even to marry because she is not your no, daughter a, zina is not allowed in the first place so that is no it's allowed happen. i just showed you that your prophet allow you to sleep around what do you know where is you know it's in front show of me. you any man any women they can yes. agree together Okay, show me. Clear okay, hold on, hold on. You show me where this this uh, this is abrogated. Where muta is abrogated? Where? Show me. I'll show you. Don't worry, man. Hmm. Is that in the Quran? Bro, just wait, wait. You asked me a question, isn't it? Hmm. I, <clears throat> I really came here to show you why Jesus is not Ilahi, but yeah. Hmm. Okay. We can't talk about you, it. No. You forced me into a topic that I never came in for. Oh no, okay, and uh, we will go to your topic. No problem. Uh, okay, all people I used to allow you to engage in muta marriages, but now Allah has forbidden that until the day of Yom Al Qiyamah. So whoever has any wives in a muta marriage, you should let her go and do not take anything of the money you have given them narrated by Sahih Muslim 1406 all right thank you very much did you say in the hadith it says Allah forbidden you no I just gave you dua no, no, no. What else do you want? does it say in the hadith Allah forbidden you no the Prophet this is a new one you have my want? friend my friend does it say that Allah forbidden you the Prophet hey, the Prophet said Allah forbidden you correct well I just gave you no no no, no. it doesn't say that it says that read again read the hadith again all oh, people I used to allow you to engage in this is the prophet speaking not Allah speaking mm, yeah I know but who, who, did he say Allah forbidden you yeah 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 okay so Allah forbidden you where Allah he said to Muhammad it's forbidden show me the verse in the Quran so one second, one second. Mm. you want to call a friend you can call it's okay Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Where is the verse in the Quran? Because he said Allah forbidden you. Okay. Where is the verse in the Quran where Allah he said to Muhammad from today yeah. from now on it's forbidden? Where it says that? Oh, you want the Quran Quran verse? Hmm. Aren't you the second I go? I said to you that you can have sex with your daughter. You said to me, Show me, show me the verse in the Quran, show me the verse in the Quran, show me the verse in the Quran, show me the word daughter in the Quran. I want you to show me the same words as you just said in the Quran. Okay. Hmm. I'm going, so, with you. I'm going by your logic, your rules. The evidence you gave me about the, uh, the three days, where did you find that? Was that in the, the, no, 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 don't change topic. Show me where in the Quran, your prophet, he said, Allah forbidden you from doing muta'an no more. Okay, show me. Why, you are the one who said to me, you are the one who said to me, show me the word, show me the word, show me the word, daughter, where daughter, 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 daughter. Okay, show me where in the Quran. <laughs> I got you there. I, I want you, there. no, you got me now, you got now, I showed you the proof and I got you busted. And now, oh, show me where, show me where in the Quran, just to show you the hypocrisy of the Muslims, show me where in the Quran it says you don't do muta'an no more. Qurtubi is not ma'asum, but let's carry on here. Yeah, this is not Al-Qurtubi, this is not Al-Qurtubi, this is Quran. And now I'm asking you, your prophet saying you can do muta. Your prophet said you can do muta, correct? And this is yeah, Quran. Uh, okay, where is the abrogated verses? When you abrogate a verse, you yeah. have to you have to bring a verse to abrogate it. Show me the verse which says muta al Chapter four, verse twenty-four. <laughs> you don't know, don't oh, you? Shia translation, Shia, Shia tafsir, man. What is Shia tafsir? Chapter four, verse twenty-four. This is okay, not the Shia. Say, this is, is allowed, yeah. yeah. Chapter four, verse number twenty-four, and not only that. I can show you even yet you your your Sunni after Muhammad die you 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 practice muta. Chapter four verse twenty four yeah. Okay, hold on. Here we go. This what is, is your, chapter hold on. Yeah, chapter four verse number twenty four. Read with me carefully. This is Sahih Muslim. This is Sunni. Does it say that you Muslims practice muta even after Muhammad die? Abu Omar, Abu Bakr, he did. Omar, he did. All the caliphate they read it. 
so how it's forbidden by Muhammad Muhammad die now and now they are the caliphate how how Muhammad die and the caliphate after him they are practicing muta hello hello yeah how Muhammad die how Muhammad die and the muta is forbidden as you claim and yet Abu Bakr and Omar who they are Sunni and this is Sahih Muslim this is not a Shia they are saying they practice it we practice it in time for Muhammad we practice it after the time of Muhammad read it uh, yeah, one second go, go on I was reading the surah for the first 24 but you're on YouTube yeah let me read it my friend what's wrong with you you don't know chapter 4 for the 24 open it read it chapter 4 of the 24 I mean, I give you said to me what chapter I give it to you. Open it and read yeah, it. I'm looking at and now. It. I'm wait, showing wait, you wait. in the screen. Stop lying. You said this is Shia. So I you forced me to go and show you a hadith from the Sunni. It says that we practice muta in the lifetime of Muhammad and after that during the lifetime of Abu Bakr and after that during the lifetime of Omar. So you Muslim, you practice muta after Muhammad's death. How it's forbidden. One second, one second. Let's do this. Let's do this one by one, step by step. In it. Mm -hmm. So you gave me Surah 4, verse 24. Mm. Okay. Mm. And prior to this ayah, we know that Allah said in the Quran, the woman who a man is forbidden to marry, mm. then he mentions what is permissible for them. Mm. And he commands the man to give the woman mm. that he marries the mahar. You feel me? Mm. I know this is Shi'i. Shi'i, you getting this from Shi'i, was it called Tafsirs. What the Quran does not say, it says, so with those of whom you have enjoyed sexual relations, <laughs> give them their mahar as prescribed. Mm. You feel me? Uh, the the Rafi that quote this ayah. Okay. In value, you, you me? They you, do the own you, you, this have, ayah. you have to pay money they, to. Okay. Let, let, let me ask you. What try, what uh, interpretation you like? What is your who is your best scholar? Give me give me give me mujahid mujahid mujahid. Okay. I will go to mujahid. That's wonderful, guys. He like mujahid. I mean, uh, customers come first. Mujahid. Okay. We will go to mujahid. Okay. okay. Here we go. We go to mujahid. Oh, listen, we're gonna get back to Isa and we're gonna no, get to no, 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 after this. Yeah, you can get back anytime you want, no problem. Yeah, CP. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, man. Okay. We'll move this so now we go to Mujahid. Let us see what is Mujahid. You see, I'm showing you on the screen the scholars. Here we go. Mujahid, uh, well, you people in your chat are so stupid. Man. Hold I don't understand. on, hold on. You remember Show them. You are you are the one who chose Mujahid, right? So if, if we, on, if we show you Mujahid, you don't say I don't accept Mujahid. Where is Mujahid? Let us see Mujahid. Mujahid. Um, let's see here. Mudrakat Tanzil. Where is Mujahid? Tasir at Tabrasi at Aviyah, Abagawi. Okay, Abni Arafa. Abu Hayyan. Hold on. I see I'm just trying to find you the one you want, Mujahid. Where is Mujahid? Where is Mujahid? I hope they have Mujahid. I remember the here we go. We find Mujahid. Finally. Hmm. And now we go. 24 okay <clears throat> all right there's nothing in Mujahid about the verse look this is what he wrote nothing nothing Mujahid is a very little tiny tafsir anyway there's nothing oh, no, no, no. Mujahid is not tiny tafsir okay read it here we go now, how the whole verse in the front of you and the whole interpretation is to align. What is the tip? Yeah, read it. Read it. It says nothing. You yeah, read it. Read it. Read it. You read it. Where, where, where did it say it? Um, it's in the screen. Read read it. It. Yeah. Okay. Read, read it, isn't it? Like, there's nothing there to read. What? Uh, he's talking about yeah, different well, verses. No, no, he's reading. He is, he, is, he, is, he is quoting for you, it says. That uh, you know, uh, uh, from etc. From from Adam, from 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 from. He said that translated, if, translated. And if you f each of. other, if you f each other, he means okay. to have sex with each other. By the way, what kind of God he says if you f to each other? 
Oh, just read the tafsir, man. I'm, I'm reading the tafsir. He says, وَقَدْ أَفْضَى بَعْدَكُمْ إِلَى بَعْضِ يَعْنِي الْمُجَّامَعَ If you, if each other, يَعْنِي الْمُجَّامَعَ Do you see it? It's in front of you. Okay, you then, okay. Okay, what kind of God? Do you agree with this? Your God, he's saying, your God, he doesn't speak about muta at all here. Uh, new. Hmm? Uh, CP, where's the muta? There's no muta. Okay, alhamdulillah, let's carry on. Carry on what? Yes. Carry on what? Alhamdulillah. Carry okay. On. Now that's mean that's mean you are Muslim or a bunch of liars because here he mentioned nothing about the verse. The whole verse is gone. What is the verse? Let's carry on. We what is the verse? What is the verse? Uh, what is the verse? What is the verse? He's not explaining. To be the said, verse. Said, said, if you have Abdul, mujahid to see, you don't need to Al-Qurtubi? You want Al-Qurtubi? This is not Al-Qurtubi, this is Mujahid. And he, he oh, said nothing. Said about muj Qurtubi said about Mujahid. If you have Mujahid Tafsir, you don't need anything else. Ah, so if okay, what about we go to Al-Qurtubi? Is that okay? Oh no no no! Let's finish. It's finished now. I just gave the tafsir. It's no finished. no, you it's gave me nothing. You gave me nothing. Next no, topic. You go. Okay, let me get you busted in front of everybody. Hold on, in a second. <laughs> read with me carefully. Stop for a Read with me carefully. Read me with me carefully. Read me with me carefully. Okay. Now let us see. Let us see if this is about muta or not. What's this though? What what uh, uh, I will show you in English. Everybody will laugh at you in a second. Arabic, everybody, you know, everybody, we, we everybody just... will see in a in a minute that you are lying and trying to oh, run what away. What are you reading? What's what's the on YouTube now? What is okay. this? Hold hold on. But by the way, isn't it you who said to me it's abrogated? When you spoke to me in the beginning, you said to me muta is abrogated. Okay, I gave you the evidence though. What, what no no no. Want? Hold on. Okay, when you say abrogated, that's mean it's in the Quran. So which verse in the Quran according to you? If this is not the verse, oh, hadith, hadith can abrogate. So you hadith. Muslims, you you Muslim, you say hadith of Muhammad is the word of Allah. No, it's the inu wahin yuha. So how you say abrogated then? To say abrogated, that's mean Allah word is abrogated. So are you saying to me Muhammad word is abrogated? Yes, Muhammad I'm word. That Allah says I abrogate my verse with that with okay. a similar one. Read carefully. Thing. Read carefully. Let me get you busted. This is Tafsir Ibn Abbas, the cousin of your prophet, and the reason I'm showing it because it's ah, in English. Ah, no, no, Ibn Abbas got it wrong. Ibn Abbas got it wrong. He's he's wrong. What about Ibn Kathir? Yes, what about Ibn Kathir? What about what about Ibn Kathir? Ibn Abbas at the end of his life. What about Ibn Kathir? What about Ibn Kathir? Change his opinion. What about Ibn Kathir? Bro. This is just this provide you evidence, man. What okay. about Ibn Kathir? Ibn Kathir, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't read it. So you can read. Okay, what about Al Qurtubi? Bro, just read it. I haven't read it. So just read it. Huh? Ibn Kathir. You want me to read Ibn Kathir? Just read it. What's wrong with you? Okay, you want, you want me to read Ibn Kathir? You want me to go to Ibn Kathir? Say yes. Just read it, and you said you can read it. What else do you want me to do, man? What's well, in front of you? It says here, it says this is about okay, having okay. having relationship with women who you agreed for limited period of time. Do you see it? Yeah, go on. Hmm. Do you see it? But this but what? this lawfulness of this practice was later abrogated. You okay, lie. so this is the verse. So this is the verse about muta. Why you are lying saying ah, this is not the verse about so muta? You got busted. Guys, I am the one who got busted. This is the verse about oh, look muta. At the, look at the I'm reading your page on the page. Read it. It says this is about muta in front of you. I know, but what does it say though? <laughs> so it says abrogated. I said to you where it's abrogated. Okay, so now you accept it's abrogated. No, you see, in the beginning you said it's not in the Quran. You lie. Secondly, I don't accept it's abrogated because I showed you proof it's oh, not. Here we go. go. Here we go. Here we go. In the front of you. In a, uh, hold on, my friend. <clears throat> in the front of you, it says that in the time of the Prophet we did muta, and after Muhammad we did muta. <clears throat> Do you see it? Yeah. What does that mean? Okay, Abu Bakr and Umar. How it's abrogated and Abu Bakr and Umar doing muta. Umar himself abrogated. Let me give you the hadith. My friend, the, the hadith Athar. in the front of you, this is Sahih. Stop lying. It's in the front of you. So if you Muslim have different story, that's mean you are opposing each other. That's mean Muslim, Islam is a stupid See, religion. No, no, you, you're, you're running from a in the front of you, in the front of you, does it say we we benefit ourselves from muta during the lifetime of the Prophet and during the lifetime of Abu Bakr and Umar? So we have two caliphate. We have two caliphate after the death of of, of of Muhammad, and you are practicing muta. So how it okay. is forbidden? Can you, can you hear me? Can you hear me? How it is forbidden, and you practice it? Okay, can you hear me? I do. <clears throat> okay. Mm. So you just gave me the athar of uh, Umar and Abu Bakr, correct? Mm. This okay. Is so okay, I see what you're saying. Mm. I'm, I'm gonna research that. Mm. But we have the direct saying before the Prophet died. We have a saying of him saying, "Yo, okay, me, this, ha this, this happened before." Okay, you know what? I will, I will go with you, so you're, guys. You're Muhammad, you're, Muhammad, he abrogated the Quran. So the Quran okay, says you can do muta. Muhammad is more important than Allah. He can destroy the Quran, and he can abrogate the Quran by two words from his own mouth. Sahih, sahih. 
What do you mean, Sahih? Authentic hadith can abrogate the Quran. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Muhammad, if he says something, he can go against Allah and he can abrogate. Who gave him the authority? No, no. no, no. You're, you're changing. Who, said who, gave, him the, who the gave him the authority? Who gave him the authority to destroy the Quran? Allah gave him the authority. So Allah, he gave Muhammad authority to destroy the Quran of Allah. No, I never said that. No, listen. When you uh, say abrogate, uh, when you say abrogate in the Quran, how Muhammad can abrogate the Quran by saying a word? Okay. So we believe the hadiths are revelation. Do you understand this? Hmm. Hadith is a revelation too? The hadith, yes, the hadith, the hadith is, the is revelation. Okay. So yes, guys, sahih, we believe that the hadith is a revelation. Okay. When Muhammad, he received revelation to have sex without marriage. Is that revelation from God or from Satan? That's the problem here. When Muhammad, when Muhammad, he received revelation, you can do muta. Was that muta from God or from Satan? Allah says in the Quran, I abrogate verses with better or similar ones. If you how, how Allah can make better Quran than Allah? See, look at the question. He's asking, asking metaphysical questions. Like what why, metaphysical? Why, how, you are, how, the, you how, are how. the one who just said Allah will make Quran better than the Quran. That's stupid. How so, Allah how Allah will make Quran better than the Quran of Allah? So now we have two Quran. One is bad and one is better. This is what you just said to me. Oh, not what well, bad. I said similar or better. You said better. Thank you very much. When we say better, that's mean the first one was bad. No, it doesn't mean it's bad, not necessarily speaking. What no. do you mean? What mean. do you mean? No, you said better. You everybody we say heard... better. This is, it doesn't make the first one bad. It uh, no, make it makes it bad because this is why he deleted. Why he deleted? Because no. the first one. This is this is why he deleted the first one. Wait, Correct? wait. So if I if, why listen, he if I create, okay, if I, why why he has given you no, better? I think, what? You, I think there's an English barrier here. Listen, if I have literature, if I provide a literature to you today, a poem, hmm. and I write a better one tomorrow, hmm. the first one doesn't is not bad. It's just better. The mm. first one is okay, but the, the, the okay. One if is I say to you See? now, we have this uh, tomato and this tomato, and this one is better. That's mean the first one is not equal to the second one, and it's yes, not, not good. Equal. It's not good because this is no, it's not. No, 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 okay. no, no. Okay. It okay. Mean it's not good. Hold no, on. No, no. How That's Allah possible. can make Quran better than the Quran? Forget about bad. How Allah can make Quran better than the Quran? Yeah, Allah is all powerful. He's all knowledgeable, man. He so Allah is a challenging Allah. Like what, why Allah He made oh. the Quran first is not good enough. To the point he needs well, to ask me a question it. how did yoga become a man no no oh, I, 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 I will answer you no problem but you see you are saying things which is crazy <laughs> you are saying to me you know why am i okay here we go but... we will go how god can became a man do you want to see yeah, like became a man, bro. you want to see on. but my god he will not make a bible better than the bible that would be stupid <laughs> now let us go here we go you're god you're, you're, you're a prophet yes. he explained how god become a man are you going Can to I say you? are you going to say to your prophet you are a liar too you are the one who said to me whatever the prophet he says is from allah Correct? CP, shall I show you abrogations in your book? Isn't it you who said to me a second ago, whatever the Prophet says is from Allah, Wahyu and Yuha, you keep repeating that to me? Can I, can I, can I, can I say something? No, we want to go to the topic. The topic you're no, like. No, you made it. No, how no, God you became a man. Me. Explain to me how God became fat and short and he have a curly hair, the hadith in the front of you. And he have two eyes. And he have five fingers. And he have a foot. And he have a shin. And he have an ass. And he have a penis. How God can be that? You're gonna me. get to that. You're gonna get to that. But listen, you 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 arguing saying yo, how can Allah make a better or similar verse? Correct. Mm. You're saying yo, is your Allah this this that? Yes. Yeah. Correct. How Allah can make Quran better than okay, the Quran? How come? How come you have abrogations in your book? The Torah. But this does not. This, but, but this does not mean better. <laughs> you see. And sec secondly, Jesus said, "I came to fulfill, not to destroy." So Jesus did not say, "I came to no, give you better." Right. Hold on. Jesus never said I came to give you a better Bible from the Bible. That's stupid of you to say. Can he stone verses? Can he can he, no, do, he, do said, he stone the He said, I came to fulfill, to complete, not to destroy. Your God here is saying, I'm going to give you Quran, I'm going to destroy Quran and give you better Quran in the same time for the same prophet. I mean, you're a prophet, he says something in the morning. Afternoon, he changes his mind. This is how fast it is. What is, what is the point of making Quran better than the Quran for the same year, for the same day, for the same week? Why? CP, what's the law for homosexuals? What's the law? What's the what's the punishment? For what? Homosexuals in 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 Jesus death. in the injil in the injil death <clears throat> death by stoning mm. in the injil. Show me the verse. Show me the verse for that. What about you? Show me the verse too. If I show you, are you willing to do no, that? No, show me the verse for for stoning homosexuals. It's death by stoning by stoning or by anything death and and what is next? And what is next? No, I'm asking. You. What is no, the, no, no, what I'm is next? I'm, a, I'm asking you, thing. what is next? What, why are you are going sure there? There are things in the injil that abrogate the Torah. Where, where? Okay, show me the verse in the Bible where it abrogate the Torah. Okay, let me show you. Let me find it for you, man. Hmm. 
remember you said about homosexual right now that that was just a minor thing you me no 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 you mentioned show me where in the bible it says <laughs> it's abrogated. Down, so you are a liar you are a liar there's no single verse in the whole bible is abrogating anything okay so the Torah a, does not, uh, so. listen listen abdul listen abdul did you who, God, whoever cast the first stone was it whoever cast the first stone yeah this is so abrogation this is abrogation yeah. where is the abrogation Whoever cast the first stone, he, what, what is the abrogation? Name? What is the abrogation? He is saying, saying to them, You are a hypocrite, you are a hypocrite sinner, like you are a sinner, and you are a hypocrite. If you are not a sinner like her, cast your stone. If you are not, a, you can't be insulting. So, I'm not insulting so, you. No, no, I'm not insulting you. You are being hypocrite. That's what I'm saying. It's not insult because this is here. No abrogation. Show me where Jesus says, Don't do that no more, or don't follow this no more, or this book is not for you no more. Why you are lying? Oh, what Why he said to them, they are a bunch of hypocrites like the Muslims who they want to practice Allah over somebody, but they don't practice the law over Muhammad. As an example, Muhammad is adulterous. He sleep around and he was busted even by his wife, but nobody stoned Muhammad. Muhammad was accused by Muslim to be a thief and nobody cut the hand of Muhammad. Muhammad was accused and get busted that he fabricate word about Allah and nobody killed Muhammad. So you Muslims, you, 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 you practice the law over a poor person, but the one who do the big lies and the bigger crimes, nobody go after him. How you can bring a woman for adultery when there's no man? How you can bring a woman for adultery and there's no witnesses? How you can bring women for adultery and stone her, take your life and you have no proof and there's no judge and there's no court. So Jesus was saying to them, they are a bunch of hypocrites. Now I'm asking you, you mentioned something about punishment to death for adultery. Can you show me the punishment for adultery in the Quran? Bro, you're running from like I let you speak now. You are the one I answer nah, you. Nah, 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 how come to, how come in your Quran? How come in your Quran you don't have a punishment for adultery of death? What Adam happened? Worship three gods. Where is where is the punishment for death in the Quran for adultery? It's in the hadith. Where is in the hadith? So where is the, where, what happened to the Quran? It wasn't the Quran. No, the whole, see, I'm not Quranist. What's wrong with you, man? You don't believe in the Quran? Right. You don't believe in the Quran? I'm not, Quran. I'm not Quranist. What does that mean? You don't believe in the Quran? I'm not Quranist. You know what that means? What is that? No, I do not know what that means. What does that mean? Yes, you, yes, you know what that means. No, I do no, not know. Tell me. I'm, I'm learning from you. What does that mean? The person who just follows the Quran didn't take from the Sunnah. Okay, so you follow Hadith and Quran. Okay, but where hadith, is Quran, Okay, is hadith, it true? Quran, is it true Shema, that there was a verse yes. in the Quran for adultery, stoning to death, and the goat ate it? There was, there was, that's Masuk and uh, Masuk and was, what's he called, man? Was, 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 yeah. Read it. This is the height in front of you. This is Aisha and this is Sahih. <laughs> this is Sahih. It says that the verse of stoning and breastfeeding for adult 10 times was revealed. Where are they? Uh, so basically, what we believe is that the last few days of the Prophet's time, he recited the Quran twice, and that's the Quran that we have. So, anything this is not the Quran, this is another question. Quran. Where is the verse of stoning to death? According to Aisha, the goat ate it, correct or wrong? Listen, what is what is what's the, what's the, what's who the is the one who abrogated this verse, the goat or Allah? There was in verses Islam, in the Quran, there was verses, not only one, many verses. Of his, about is, stoning I, to death. I don't know, what's this emphatic sentence about is stoning about to death? About stoning to death and about a breast feeding for adult. Who is the one who abrogated those verses? The goat or Allah? It's the Prophet sallallahu So by default, it's Allah subhanahu wa taala. What do you mean? Where it says that? Show me. Here we go. Aisha, she's saying the verse of stoning and breast feeding for adult ten times was revealed. Show me the verses where it was said by Muhammad in the Hadith that you have to do ten times breastfeeding for adult. Can you show me that? Listen, is the hadith, is the, is that verse in the Quran today? You are the one who just said to me, I'm not Quranic I'm only, which means I follow Hadith. A second ago, you said to me, I follow Hadith and I follow Quran. Here we go. This I'm is not, Hadith. Not, exactly, Listen, exactly. no, you said that. Everybody heard you. Yep, you said, you said to me, to. you said to me, you don't follow Quran only. You follow Hadith and Quran. And this is the Hadith saying there was a chapters have breastfeeding for adult ten time, and there's a stone exactly. to death. Okay, where we can find those verses? Okay, so I'm asking you a line of questioning to answer your question. And is that hadith that verse that was abrogated is in the quran today how you can abrogate it if it's not in the quran to be abrogated question. i'm asking a question you see is, is you, that in the you, quran today? you don't answer the question with the question you tell me where it is first so we can find out where okay. it is where where is this verse first okay. what happened to this verse not, is it true is it true that god ate it bro a rhino ate the bible yesterday so what if is what that if a true is that a true that god ate it that's why you don't have it 
through a rhino ate the Bible. What you see, you are, you, are being a, you, you are being now a kid. I'm talking to a man, a supposedly. Games, I'm talking to a games. man. I'm talking to a man. Here, the Aisha is saying, not me, that the verses of etc., etc., breastfeeding for adult. By the way, what kind of a God? He ordered with my respect to your mother to give her breast to a stranger. I mean, this is filthy religion. So, breastfeeding for adult, and how you can do that, you must be sick. And then it's stoning to death. Both of them are well, eaten explain by. Your God, explain your God becoming a man. See, here explain we go. Man. There you go. You change the topic in a second. Explain your you see, guys, you see, you see, guys, you see, here we go. I will explain to you how my I God. Lost no problem. No I problem. We will switch the topic for you. We will switch the topic for you. Here we go. You're a, pro you're a prophet man, saying, man, you're a prophet. Man, hold on. Stop, stop being a kid. You're a prophet saying that your God, Allah, is a man and he is short and he is fat and you have a curly hair. Answer the question. Why I'm answering you, you. I'm answering you. Here we go. What do you say to your what do you, what do you say? Don't what do you question. say to your prophet saying that your God Allah is a short, don't answer with fat, the question, man. and he is a curly hair person, and he is not one eyed. Do you agree with your prophet or not? Can you answer my question? Why do you worship man? I'm answering you. We don't worship when man, we worship you. God. It's you who worship a man. His when name is Muhammad. Know. You worship Jesus, man. Just get lost. You are just a kid. You've been served, <clears throat> coward. The second you get them busted, they keep jumping from topic to topic to topic. We said, okay, let's talk about the man Jesus. We start. He said he switch. We go to the other one. He switch. Now he go back, and then we showed him. Okay, if you are against believing that God can be a man, well, here we go. Your God is a man, and not only a man. Look at this description. He's ugly. And even your prophet is worried that you Muslims might think that he is Allah, the short man in front of you. Why? Because they look the same. The only difference between them is the eye, one eye. So look at this stupid cult. They don't have a holy book. They don't have a holy hadith. Hadith is fabricated. Quran is fabricated. Allah made Quran better than the Quran. What kind of God he made Quran but better than the Quran? <laughs> Why? Because Muhammad, he, he make poo, poo people, they start laughing at him. So what he do? He say, ah, any uh, verses we make, Allah will make better than it. If you go to the interpretation, you will see people, they were laughing at Muhammad, saying that Muhammad, he give his, he enjoy his follower an order in the morning, and he change it in the afternoon or maximum a day after. For he's a liar. And who is the one who caused to forget Quran? Allah. How Allah can cause you to forget Quran? I thought the shaitan, and I can show you the verses. It is shaitan who make you forget Quran. But here Muhammad want to explain why he cannot remember what he said. Have you ever heard of a prophet cannot recite the same verse twice correctly? Because he's a liar. A liar, he cannot repeat the same story twice correctly. Because you do not know what he said just yesterday. So Muhammad want to explain himself why he is making those errors. Oh, this is a better Quran. Oh, this is a Allah make me forget the Quran. Oh, don't worry. Allah will make it better or similar. What the point? If it's going to be similar, so why you are making something else? It's similar. Have you ever heard of a stupid cult like this? Will make me forget the Quran to make a similar Quran? Similar? So you have a three uh, a bedroom house. I'm going to destroy it to give you a three bedroom house. It's the same. <laughs> and remember, we are talking here about the same prophet, not like after 10 centuries where life changed. This is the same man. In the morning, he says something. In the afternoon, he says something else. And why he do that? Because he's a false prophet. <clears throat> Is it clear? Very clear. Why you are calling me back? Well, are you going to play games again? I can end the call if you want. Huh? Are you going to play games again? Bro, oh, listen, I don't understand. You dictate the conversation, though, man. No, you are the one You are the one who don't stand for your question. You said to me about Jesus being God, correct? Okay. Okay. All right. Why you're a prophet worry 
that the Muslims See, now you think, the subject again. I'm man. not, I'm not, I'm not. This is the topic. How Allah can be a man. How Allah can be a man. My God is capable. He is almighty. He can come to us as a man. Your God cannot, according to you. If this is a true, that's mean Allah himself is just a man because he is not coming as a man. He is a man to the point Muhammad is afraid that you are going to be confused between him and the false Messiah. So listen to me carefully. My God what? can come as a man because he's almighty God. He can do whatever he wish. Your God can, so he, can become a goat. he can become a goat and a rhino. He can, he can be whatever he wants. Your God already is a goat. Your God is already is a goat. You want to show you? Okay. If I show you that your God Allah is already a goat, what you will do? Can I speak for a second? If I show you that Allah already is a horse, what you will do? You would do. Isn't it Allah? Isn't it you must believe that Allah he made the horses a sweat and from the sweat, which means the piss of the horses, he made himself? Show me that. Okay, hold on. Allah made himself from horse. Yes, so said, okay, yes, me. yes. <clears throat> that, that man. Hmm. Yeah, man, so while you're looking for it, let me just speak in it. So you just admitted his paganistic ways, whereby Christians have not, Christians, we force the Christians to admit now, God can become a goat, a, a horse, a donkey, because they have to you can you can laugh as you wish my god he can come he can be whatever he wants he's god i know you are the I one know. you are you are the one you are the one who believe that your god cannot be correct you know what you know what you look okay. at that can god can your god can 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 your god do things or he cannot he does anything that befits okay can can your god became a bird or he cannot i just answered that quick I'm not, no i'm asking you can your god became a bird can he or he cannot he does anything that befits his majesty. That is not a question. I'm asking you a specific a question. Can he be God and yet he can be a bird in the same time? Can he or he cannot? Well, I don't answer them kind of questions. Man. No, you have to answer. I answer you why you are a coward. And them kind of questions are like, you know. No, you are a dumb. I, you asked me the same dumb question. I answered you. Even you are dumb. You, oh, I'm not, I'm you just not, admitted that your question to me was dumb and I answered you. Oh, no, now you are making excuse Can your God be God in the same time and he come as a bird can he or he cannot? He gonna, he's gonna come as how, is, how can a bird this is not the question. Food? This is not the question. Can Allah? Be a bird and a God in the same time. Yes or no? Can he be a bird? I don't, no, I don't I don't think so. No, so Allah no. cannot Make himself no, he can't a, bird. Be a bird because it's okay, that's wonderful. Here we go. I want to according then. Bird. Okay, how the Quran says then that Allah he will change his shape. Your prophet said that. Yeah, what is this? I don't understand why you jumping for asked you a question. Oh, hold on, hold on. No, you, we are an, we are answering you. We are answering everything here is in the topic. Here we go. You're, pro topic. you're a prophet, to you're, a, to you're a prophet saying that Allah he have many shape and he changes shape. And you did lie to me. You said to me, Allah cannot do that. Cannot. No, I told you, Allah cannot okay. become a, a, be okay. a bird. The whatever, shape man. Allah, Disgusting. okay, the shape Allah. Why Allah? You said to me, Allah will not take a shape which is not fit with his majesty, correct? Yeah, yeah, it's All not right. fit his majesty. Here we go. Your prophet that. saying you are a liar. Your prophet Show saying, oh, here we go. Your prophet will come, he says to them that Allah will come to you in a shape other than the one you know. And he will say, I'm your Lord. And you Muslims will say, you will think he's shaitan. No, I read this before. I read this before. I read this. Before. So why you die to me? You just said to me that Allah will not come to you in a shape does not fit His Majesty. Why you must Majesty? Okay. So why yeah. you Muslim rejected him if the shape fit His Majesty? No, that's not, no, 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 no. The, we do not recognize him. That does not mean no, he came in a shape no, no. You not only you did not recognize him. You say to him, we seek refuge with Allah from you, which means you are satanic, you are evil. No, it does not mean satanic. It does not mean satanic. No, the Quran says you seek refuge with Allah when shaitan, he whispers yes. into you only. Yes. So you seek, seek refuge, refuge with Allah from shaitan. Is Allah shaitan here? Yes. You seek refuge from everything, not only satanic. Okay, hold on. Why, why you reject, why you did not recognize him here? What the problem? You don't recognize him because we have not seen him before. How are you going to so, recognize him? Hold on. So how you cook? Oh, you see how stupid your prophet is? How if you, you don't? Hold on, hold on, guys. Listen to this. What I he said. Jesus, he's Everybody is laughing now. You just said we did not recognize him because we never saw him before. He and the coward. But he says he come to you and he says I am your Lord and your Lord and then you recognize him. So how you refuse him first time? How you accept him second time? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Willi, Willi, Willi. This is your God. My God, he can be whatever he wants. He's almighty God. Your God is a potato. He cannot. And look how, they, how silly the questions. Can your God become a dog? Like, what about his uh, be cockroaches? He's silly. He's just being silly. Why you call him almighty if he cannot do things? He's not almighty then. And your God, they created from the sweat of horses. Yes, I uh, so I'm about it will be real quick. I, I promise. Mm, okay. So, so the Muslim guy, um, he, he, no, um, please don't take him as an authority of Islam because half of the things he was saying didn't make even sense, even to me as a fellow Muslim. But he's still my brother. Why? 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 Why, why doesn't it make sense? What's wrong with him? No, but um, he says, right, um, if Allah goes into shape, it doesn't fit his majesty, right? Mm. Okay. But I believe, I, I believe God can um, go into shape, but when he goes into that shape, it's like um, he isn't limited. He still has the features of God. Mm. So what that will do? So, so why are you Muslims here in the hadith in the front of us? He come to you. And you reject him. Did he come with the feature does not fit with God? This is why you rejected him. You said to him, You are not our Lord. No, because because uh, we didn't see him first of all. So when well, when well, something you, you accept him the comes, second time he we... comes, still you don't see him anyway. I mean, why you accept him second, second time? Did you see him first time? Did you see him? No. So second time he come, you accept him. First time he come, you don't accept him. So what the difference between first time and second time? First time he was wearing yeah, I... second time he was wearing a short, yeah. second time he was wearing a suit. Why are you refusing first time or you accept him second time? Can I explain, please? Go ahead. All right, but, uh, please promise me, though. Uh, intro, don't intro, please. In 30 seconds, go ahead, only, go man. Ahead. Please, please, please. Go ahead. <coughs> so, <clears throat> when the first time when the, the shape came, um, the Muslims, um, they uh, don't know that who that is, and it's supernatural. So, we as humans, as you know, we tend to think it's something bad, like it's supernatural, it's probably a jinn or shaitan. And then that shape he clarified himself the second time, and then the second time when he clarified himself, oh, he clarified himself. He just said, I am, he just said, I am your lord. First time he said the same words, second time he said the same words. Nothing changed. Read it, not even one word additional. First word, first time he came, second time he came, it's exactly the same sentence. I am your lord. That's all what he said. I am your Lord Allah. Um, follow them, and the only reason will Allah will come to them in ship, and then uh, they know and will say, I am your Lord. They will say, We seek refuge with Allah from you. Mm. This obvious till our Lord comes to us and our Allah comes to us, we will recognize him. Then Allah will come to them in the shape. He you know, go, go down a bit. Mm. Okay, scroll down. Yes. Okay, when the Allah comes to us, and when Allah comes to us, He will not recognize him. Allah will come to them and say, "You know, when I will say, I will not. He will say, no W So follow." Wait. Did you fart? <laughs> no, no, no. It was like this. Uh, your uh, prophet used to do that because they broke his teeth. All of them, they are gone. <laughs> I don't know how we can read the Quran. I can show you. Your prophet, he lost his <laughs> teeth. I don't know how we can read the Quran. I think he says, used to say that, I mean, a prophet of God, his God could not protect his teeth at least so he can read the Quran to the Muslims. Continue. Go ahead. Astaghfirullah, <laughs> man. Well, it's... It's... Um... No, this is actually the uh, first time I really look into this thing. Mm. Does it say that uh, the, the first time did he come with a shape or? He come to them in a shape other than the one they know or saw first time. Actually, the Hadith says other than the, the one they saw first time. No, not or yes. What? No, um, the first time when he appeared, did he come with a shape? Both of them, they are shape. 
We do not know what the first shape. We do not know what second shape. First shape is rejected. Second shape is accepted. Maybe Allah, he come as a horse first time. <laughs> what? No, no, no. It was something really supernatural what made people believe. No. Here we go. This is the hadith in front of you. It says, يَقُولُ عَنْ أَبِي هُرَيْرَى قَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ Abu Hurairah said that Allah, when he wanted to create it himself, he created the horses, and then he made the horses run until the horses sweat, sweat very bad, and then he created himself from the sweat of the horses. Uh, Your God, Allah, DNA is a horse DNA. In the best scenario, he's a donkey. Sorry to say. And your prophet saying that, not me. First of all, what um, first of all? What first of all? What second of all? You see, you Muslim, you call me to say to me that the first idiot, he called me, he's an idiot. He don't present Islam. Are you a person who presents Islam? Supposed to you know more than him? Both of you are idiots. You have no idea what I to say. I know. No, I, you see, saying, I'm not insulting saying, you. Was, I'm saying no, to you, no. like, okay, why Allah rejected first time? Why he's accepted for the second time? You do not know. Okay, why Allah have a shape? Right, I'll explain. To you. I'll explain why to Allah you, has you, a shape? You, okay, you, okay. Why, why Allah has a shape? Shape is a dimension. Correct. <clears throat> Is a shape as no, a dimension? Is the word shape a is a word shape is a dimension? No, when he goes into shape and then enters this world, he will enter our dimension. My friend, is the word shape as a dimension? Depends, depends. Maybe it could be a shape of spirit. Not the spirit. Your God Allah is not a spirit. Your God Allah is not a spirit. We Muslims wake up. You Muslims, you have no idea you are worshiping what? Allah is not a spirit and he has no spirit. He's a, just a shape. He's a physical being. He's a statues. <coughs> um, you are you making could, a sound um, of a horse now. Since I told you about your God, Allah is a horse. You keep saying, mm -hmm. <laughs> "What is that?" <laughs> is, isn't this um, the sound of a horse? I was eating before this, so it's still what, in my what, what kind of God he made no. himself from a horse, man? I mean, what's wrong with this God? I mean, you, you Muslims are really weird. <clears throat> you worship a God is created from the piss of the horse because the sweat of the horse is a form of a piss. Sweat is other form of dirt come from our body. So when you say the sweat of the horse, that means Allah is created from the piss of the horse. And I showed you the hadith. I'm not the one saying that. No, but... Uh, all right, all right. Hmm. Uh, until... Uh, no, um... And, and about the um, thing with the shape, yeah, you what? know why in the second time they believed? Why, brother? Why? Because and it's like this. Let's say Moses in Egypt he says to the Jews, Israelites, he says, uh, "Yo, I'm, I'm a messenger from God." Hmm. You think they, they're gonna believe instantly? No, they want a miracle. They want something supernatural. So maybe Allah came with a normal, uh, uh, you know, um, no. What's what's the shape? Normal shape, and they didn't like what? Like what? No, uh, like what? Like, like what? Like what? Like miracle? What do you mean? Uh, brought what do you mean? up a supernatural shape. What do you mean normal and shape? What, what do you mean normal shape? Just like every prophet came with something supernatural. What do you mean normal shape? What does that mean? A man shape? Yeah, I mean, uh, something in this uh, uh, earth. Okay, what so either about? a man in the best scenario, a man in the worst scenario, a horse or a goat. Okay, so why Allah coming to them as a man saying, "I am Allah, worship me"? If Allah is not a man. Allah is on the man, but he can go he, into he can. a man's he shape. Can. Whereas uh -huh. he's limited. See, this is different well, opinion from your brother. A, a second ago, he said Allah cannot be a man. No, that's stupid because then he's not all um like he can't do everything then. Okay, let me ask you. But he's the thing. Okay. He's the thing what yeah. Okay. Can Allah have a son without having a wife? He says be and this, of course it can. He can. Are you sure? Yes. Mm. Oh, you will go. The Quran says no. Um, that's some. That's the uh, talk. Yeah, that was um, like uh, a natural uh, uh, way. Uh, uh, what the natural? It's not way? Uh, 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 come on, man. You see, uh, 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 the Quran says how Allah can have a son, and he have no girlfriend, so he cannot. Correct. Show me that one, please, please. Okay, here we go. Come on, man. Read it. 
but I got to go in a few minutes further. Oh, Wait, let me open this shoe shoe. As usual. It is the old name. I want to correct a brother before me, but um, his origin of the heavens and earth. How can he have children when he has no wife? He created all things, and he is the owner of his origin of the earth. You forget to make the, uh, you forget to make the horse sound at the end. Anyway, how can he have a children? How can he have a children and he don't have a girlfriend? By the way, it doesn't say wife. This is a lie. In Arabic, it says sahiba, which means girlfriend. So Allah is saying that how can he have a children if he don't have a girlfriend? So Allah is not almighty because the God of Mary, he did not say to Mary, how you, Mary, will have a son. You don't have a boyfriend. Mary have a son, but you don't have a man. The God of Islam cannot be the same God of Mary because the God of Islam cannot have his own son unless he have a girlfriend. The God of Mary, he can let Mary have a son, yet she have no boyfriend. So Allah, he himself, he is questioning his ability. There's no way Allah is the almighty God because almighty God, he can. Allah cannot. And you are the one who said to me, yes, he can. I told you no. And now the verse in the front of you. As you see, he cannot. Your God, Allah, is a potato. Mm. Did you say, mm? you agree? Guys, he agreed that his God, Allah, is a potato. Mm. Okay, thank you. No, no. I, I, you agreed. You agreed. Everybody heard you. Everybody you said, hmm. You see? The truth the truth come without noticing. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I agree. This is really you messed up. Um, hmm, yeah, my Allah, my Allah, He cannot. What, uh, what a God I have. Brother, thank you for this uh, conversation, brother. But I, I have uh, to go. I know you. I have to go. Okay, I know I have to go. Okay, uh, all right, go, go. All of you are the same. I put you in the pressure cook, and then when the pressure became so high, you said to me, "Please open. Please open. I have to go." Yes, Abdul. Yeah, man, what happened? So what do you want to say to us about Allah have a shape? Yeah, so all I was trying to say is in, yeah, man. Hmm. Why Allah have a shape? Like, what, what, what is the shape of Allah? Can we just deal with one topic without you jumping? We are, we are, this is the topic we are talking about it now. It's you who opened the topic, not me. My topic what is, is the shape, what is the shape of this... What is the shape of Allah? How Allah can be a man? Can we discuss your Bible for once? Yes, we are discussing the Bible in the same time because Muhammad is nothing but a thief. Muhammad is the counterfeit of the Bible. Well, the Bible is a corrupt so why, made of man -made why, Greek book. What? The Bible is a corrupt man made Greek book. Greek book. Yeah, that's what okay, it is. hold on. Did you say the Bible is corrupt man made book? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so why, you, so why are you a stupid God saying that hey, the, mm. the Bible never corrupt? I don't know the Bible that we have today. The Bible we have today is corrupted. Yeah, Hold on. No, he is saying he is saying that this is the book with them, the book of the Christians. The one, the one you have in you today. Well, your prophet he says, uh, your prophet says in the Quran that those who follow Jesus they will be victorious and the judgment day. So there's no yeah. way that their book will be corrupt, but yet they are going to be exist and the judgment day. Yeah, those who follow Jesus, that's uh, he's talking about the disciples, man. Yeah, the disciples, but they will live until judgment day. Here we go. This is hey, the Quran the says, and confirming, the and confirming what is with them. Was the Torah and the Bible in the time of your prophet corrupt or not? The time of the prophet, the, there's, there's three opinions. I'm asking it? you, don't tell me three opinions. The Quran in front of you, what three opinion? What three opinion? Why three? Opinion. Trinity yes. again? Trinity again? People following Trinity? What three opinion? Guys, there's three opinion. Here we go. Now, it says Allah, he confirmed what is with them. He confirmed the gospel. He confirmed the Torah. Yes or no? Yeah, he confirmed the, obviously he confirmed the, obviously he confirmed the authenticity of the Torah and the Bible. Yeah. But he never said he, what you have in your hand today. No, he totally said that. Dead. Read carefully. And when he come to them, confirming what is with them. Yeah, he confirmed it. What does the word confirm What mean? is with them? Yes with or no? Them. What does that mean? Okay. What does it mean? That's mean the book with them in their hand. Yes, he confirmed it. What does that okay. mean? Okay, so in the time of Muhammad, the Bible was not changed, correct? No. Okay. It was changed. So what is the copy of that book? Why your Where prophet? Is the copy of that? 
so, been changed, so, man. so Islam, Islam is a lie because you Muslim, you say Allah He sent the Prophet Muhammad because the Christian they changed the Bible. Allah sent Prophet Muhammad because the Injil was changed, manufactured, manipulated. Okay, thank uh, you, so guys. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? He just said Allah He sent Muhammad because the Bible corrupted and changed, but the Quran, but the Quran, but the Quran here says, but the Quran here says it never been changed. Show me what the Quran says. The Injil was never changed. By that, it's in the front of you. Verbatim, verbatim. It's in the front of you. Okay, let's check. Hmm. Everyone heard him say, uh, Allah said the, the Bible has never changed. Okay, I well, see it. Well, you know, you see, uh, you, you Muslims are very weird. If, if Okay, no, you're weird. You're weird. You Christians are very well, here weird. Here we go. You say that the Bible is corrupt Christians, and Allah confirmed the Bible. Christians, bro. And when they came to them, the Jews, a book, no, nah, no, nah, this is all brackets, man. I'm not dealing with this translation. Give me the verse. As you know, as if you know the verse. Do you know how to, the verse? Do you know how to read oh, it? I know, I know it by Arabic, Muhammad. As in, uh, 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 what was it? Was in Bil Hakim was a different name, being the name of the Torah to the Injil. That one, yeah, is it that one? Yeah, okay, just give me the verse, and I don't know the verse. Give me, you don't know the verse, just give me the number. So reference. How you are reciting the verse, but you do not know the verse? Oh, I know you, but how, just give me the verse, man. What if you are reciting the wrong verse and I'm saying to you, yeah, yeah, just, just okay, yeah, yeah, okay, then I'll check it right now. Go on, just give oh, me the verse. Okay. Well, this is the verse, chapter 2, verse number 89. Two verse 289. Hmm. It's going up anyway, man. Busy, man. Let's see. I was right. No, I was not right. So definitely, my mother, my cousin, my cousin. Oh no, I was not right. Hmm. What do you say? Two eighty nine. What's wrong with you, man? Chapter Sorry, two, uh, verse number eighty nine. Huh? Chapter two. Sorry? Chapter two, verse number eighty nine. Eighty nine. I just looked at it. Hmm. Eighty nine. No, it's not. Chapter two, verse eighty nine. Well, I'm a jam. Get out of me. Let's go. I have no time, no more patience for kids. It's not. I show it to him in the front of him screen in Arabic and English. He says it's not. Anyway, guys, I have enough for today. Actually, my voice is tired, you can tell. And don't forget to download the video, share it. And as you see, Muslims, the Muslims are the same as somebody, his wife is a cheater on him. And he is the last one to know. And each time they call me, I show them what's happening and they say what where we never heard this before how this can't be true you must be lying they never heard this before show me silence me and the funny the Muslims they call each other names like the other guy he called to say that this guy is an idiot As if he is better. Anyway, don't forget, guys, to download the video and share it around. Download, not only share the link. Download the video, post it in your page. You can cut it, make it pieces as you wish. All right? And I encourage Muslims too to download my videos. Please, Muslims, as long as you are victorious always. Why you don't download my videos, post it around? Hmm? So, as you see, we are Christians who believe in Almighty God. And the reason he's called Almighty, for he can do what Almighty can do. Not the God of Islam who cannot have a son without having a girlfriend. Our God is all-powerful, Almighty. And even their prophet, he says that God, he made Adam in his image, quoting the Old Testament. The Old Testament says in many places that God came as a man. This is Old Testament. This is the book of the Jews. The Quran confirmed that the book of the Christian, the book of the Jews is accurate. So the Muslims, when they say and they lie against our book, it's a fabrication against even their own Quran. But let me tell you what happened. Muhammad is a hypocrite man. He said those verses when he was trying to get close to the Jews and the Christians. The same as he said to them that those who they are Jews and those who they are Christians and even those who they are Sabi and worship stars, even those they will go to heaven. 
at that moment Muhammad the hypocrite Muhammad was trying to make them accept him in any price just say I'm a prophet your book is correct you are a Sabian worship stars you in fine you will go to heaven you are a Jew you will go to heaven you are a Christian you will go to heaven all of you will go to heaven everybody just say I am a prophet and when he could not make them agree with him that he's a prophet he decided to kill the Jews and the Christians and the Sabian in the beginning Muhammad he tried to be a Jew they rejected him he tried to be a Christian they rejected him he tried to be a Sabian they rejected him so he decided to get rid of all of them as soon as he can and this is the truth this is a hypocrite it's clear how you say to the Jews in the time of Muhammad who believed that Jesus son of God in the time of Muhammad every Christian in the time of Muhammad and Masonic Jew in the time of Muhammad believed that Jesus son of God how you say to them you will go to heaven how you say that how you say to somebody as a Sabian who worships stars who believe in creators how you say to them you will go to heaven for he is a fake man selling heaven for pennies and this is how we get islam busted actually this is remind me when the fake muhammad was praying and a jew walked by And Muhammad was praying in a funeral and the Jew he said to him this is how we do it the messenger of Allah used to stand up for a prayer in the funeral time until the crops was placed in the grave a learned Jews which mean a rabbi he passed by and he said this is how we do it the prophet SAWSFM radio shortwave said, sit down and said, sit down, sit down, act differently, for he is a false prophet. If Muhammad was a praying all the time in a way, isn't it Allah who taught him to pray that way? So Muhammad is willing to change the way to pray just because a Jewish guy he said to him, This is how we do it. That is the reason. You change the way you pray, the way God told you to pray, just because a guy, he said to him, this is how we do it. And my friend, this is how we get Islam busted. This is how we do it. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And they will see you again, Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And if you like to learn more, you can get my books from Amazon. The bent in your country, Amazon.com, Germany, France, Swedish, etc. Learn so you will not be fooled. Foolish people, they are going to be taken advantage of. Don't be one. Education is a gift from God. Use your brain and don't be a foolish. The Lord said, My people have been destroyed because of their ignorance. Don't be a person of ignorance so you will be destroyed. Thank you very much. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. See you.